either you censored yourself or you simply thought. I nodded my head, I remarked later on to Ted. Did you ever hear of anyone nodding her legs or her elbows? <laughs> asked Cousin Rebecca. You may properly say I shook my head, or you can shake other things. But in the present development of the language, you can nod no other part of yourself or of creation than your head. of the author's home. She was raised on this farmland which you see and which surrounds us on the way to the church. The fields are ours. Over there the fields are ours. This is the, this is the land she came to as a little child. This is the most authentic uh -huh. site there is. The house is no longer here, but the point this of is her surroundings. This is, this is where she wrote Anne of Green Gables mm -hmm. and, and hundreds of short stories and poems. Right? This, is, this is the site, so we can, we can use our imagination and see the house and, and, and just imagine like, this, is what, this is what she saw outside her window. She sees things invisible to us. She is a queen in the lovely kingdom of make-believe. She's not trying to deceive anybody. She has the powerful gift of creation in an unusual degree. Montgomery's use of ecstasy and knowing speaks to me about possibilities for understanding something I want to imagine beyond binaries and gender performances. Modernism celebrated fractured time, wounded time. Montgomery insisted on time's deep continuities. She endorsed healing. Old grandmother reminds me how time interfolds upon itself because female and male are constructs we perform. If you don't believe things, you'll never have any fun. The more things you can believe, the more interesting life is. <laughs> 